Whether the formulation of laws and regulations cannot keep up with the development of AI? Um, yes, like I previously mentioned, the deep fakes uh, is a huge issue when it comes to uh, misinformation and propaganda um, dissemination. Um, so, for example, recently um, there was um, a deep fake um, that you know Pentagon has been uh, bombed, um, and you know that fake. Uh, pictures were floated on Twitter and the stock market actually crashed because of that because they thought that it was a terrorist attack um, but it turned out that it was deep fakes. Issues like this it can have huge significance on a global level and you know stock markets uh, as mentioned were deeply impacted by that and in order to ensure that these things uh, do not happen and there is no um, disinformation and propaganda um, you have to come up with AI regulations um, to ensure that you know criminals um, or people who misuse this technology um, are punished, um, and you know the trend of using these uh, technologies just for fun um, and the disinformation uh, does not propagate. Um, in order to do that, a lot of uh, countries are taking the lead. For example, EU AI Act is the first of its own kind, and it will be implemented um, by summer next year. Um, U.S. is in the process of doing that, and China is also uh, leading the way to um, ensure that uh, this disinformation uh, potential of these technologies are, is not being exploited. Um, like all big international um, organizations like um, UN um, and World Bank um, and Interpol, uh, a lot of countries collaborate on different issues and that is the need of the hour that all these countries collaborate to form a global body with um, rules and regulations that apply across the board and there's a cooperation between different countries um, and there's a mutual understanding of rules um, and its applications um, so this is why it's right now it's a gray area because the technology is in its um, early phases so this is why there needs to be an international collaboration and to make sure that this technology is used responsibility across the globe. Um, but you must also understand that businesses operate um, in societies and um, their products have to comply by safety and um, privacy regulations. And that's for the better, uh, that's for the good of their own uh, companies and the society. Uh, you do not want to hurt uh, people with your products and services. And you know, in order to do that, uh, you have to comply with the regulations. And the regulators must also understand the business needs um, and the use for uh, and the need for innovation. And there has to be a balance between public good um, and the uh, business good. What are the challenges of legislating AI applications? There are many different um, aspects um, of regulation when it comes to AI. First of all, we must establish that if the technology um, is trained in a proper and legal manner, and there are huge uh, implications uh, for that. Uh, a lot of uh, companies, organizations, um, and institutes have pointed that the data that this technology is trained on was not obtained by the consent of the creators. So this is one aspect. The other aspect is that the product um, that came out of this data is producing a lot of unintended consequences like hallucination as misinformation and generation of content uh, that is not legal and then there's also um, issue of privacy and safety and security um, and sharing that content um, then finally there's also um, a mismatch between the expectation and understanding of different countries and regional um, regulation and that can also boil over to different aspects like political aspect, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal aspects. So all of uh, these must be taken into consideration uh, before um, there is a sound application and adoption of the technology.